Hey everyone, it is late at night and I am Norman. We all do it. Most of us watch nerds. Snap pictures of our watches. Usually those are wrist shots, but at other times we'll actually do still lifes of our watches. Every single time I do it, I can totally sense my wife shaking her head and rolling her eyes. So judgy. I'm totally shameless too. I'll snap pictures in restaurants or wandering around the mall or out on vacation. I recently ran into a Time and Tide article talking about seven places that you should never snap watch pictures. The link to that article is in the description below as well as the image credits. Tonight we're going to go over the points made in this article and I'll give my opinion of each one and I'll add a few more of my own. So let us begin. The first scenario that they call out is at weddings. I've totally done it, and I see nothing wrong with sneaking a pic or ten. Just be subtle about it. I mean, why wouldn't you want your watch photobombing pics of the bride and groom? And who wants a picture of a cake without a watch in it? Maybe don't snap pics of your watch if you're actually in the wedding party. And if you're the bride and groom, I agree, no watch pictures. I'm sorry you won't have that amazing dress watch immortalized in conjunction with your big day, but if you do it, your spouse will likely not even last as long as that one watch you've been thinking about offloading. The next scenario they call out is on a date. I've totally done it, and will surely do it again. Once more, subtlety is key. Wait for your date to violate the rules first, or wait for them to excuse themselves to go to the bathroom. Then quickly snap as many pics as you can. But yes, of course, as they're telling you how lovely your eyes are, or how beautiful you look tonight, no watch pictures at that moment. Trust me. Probably not a good idea to be snapping watch pics as the bill arrives. The next item they called out is while you're near a supercar's steering wheel. Okay, this one is kind of a gray area. Yes, if you're near a supercar's steering wheel and you happen to have a buttload of Richard meals, Royal Oaks, Rolexes, or Nautiluses, please don't throw them all over the steering wheel and snap a pic. If, on the other hand, you have a Seiko or a Timex or a cheap AliExpress watch, please do snap a pic and make sure it comes across my social media feeds. If I'm anywhere near a supercar or its steering wheel, you can be sure I'm 100% going to be getting a watch pic or 10 with it. Why wouldn't I? Next up is during adult fun time. Um, does this even need to be called out? If you do this, I'm pretty sure even the watch nerdiest of watch nerds are going to say you have a problem. The next scenario is at a funeral. This is a tough one. I mean, sometimes the funeral home lighting is just perfect. And all the greenery at the gravesite, it's just screaming to be a nice blurry background for an amazing watch shot. But I suppose it really isn't the time to whip out your phone, and even less appropriate if you're using an actual camera, to snap a watch shot while everyone around you is in real sorrow and pain. You heartless psychopath. I've never done this. Pfft. Next up is while doing anything dangerous. I feel like this category is a bit vague. That's not fun. So let's get creative and offer up some specific dangerous scenarios to avoid while cliff climbing, as your plane is going down, in between rounds of CPR, when your parachute won't open, when you're stuck spelunking, while tightrope walking, while sticking your head in a lion's mouth, trust me, while performing brain surgery, I mean do you really want blood all over your watch, while witnessing a nuclear plant meltdown, Wait, you might want to get that one, because that is definitely going to be going viral. Alright, now we'll go over some of the scenarios that I've come up with. Scenario number one, while you're sitting on the toilet. Especially if the watch has a polished case or a glossy black dial. Trust me. When the aliens land. I think with this scenario, you just need to be patient. Don't snap the pic right away. Use the watch as a conversation starter. Once you've dissuaded them from conquering the planet, 
Then let them try your watch on. And boom, you've got the money shot. The next scenario, as you're passing away. Um, yeah. Next up, while your wife is having a baby. This is already a very volatile situation. And this moment is kind of a culmination of all the mood swings and emotions that have been going on for the past nine months. All packed into a few hours. Getting a shot of your watch in this scenario is not worth dying for. Plus your kid is entering the world. You jerk. Right, dear? The next scenario? While passing a kidney stone. Trust me. And next is when you're fighting with your spouse or significant other. I almost listed this with the doing anything dangerous, but I feel it needs its own category. Now it's true if you're in a heated fight with your loved one, turning on the fart sound effects of your Tesla will totally end the fight. Using the exact number of days you've been together as a sign of how much you love them will also cool the heat down. Admitting you're wrong always helps, but telling your loved one to hold on a second so you can get a pic of your watch? Yeah, you're not going to survive that altercation. And the last scenario I came up with is while you're committing a murder. Actually wait, definitely do get a shot of your watch while you're committing a murder. Also make sure there's plenty of incriminating details in the picture. We would really appreciate it. Oh wait, I lied. I actually had come up with one more. And that is right before you rear end somebody. Yeah, maybe don't get watch pics while you're driving. So there you have it, a bunch of scenarios where it's really not a good idea to snap a watch pick. Thanks for watching.